let's listen in. Uh, to give you an update on where we are today, and then we'll take your questions. In terms of the numbers of cases, you see the curve continues to go up, 7,195. You see the number of people tested continues to go up. This state is testing more people than any state in the United States, more per capita than China or South Korea. That is a good thing. We want to test. We want to find the positives. And we want to find uh, the positives so we can isolate, stop the transmission. We tested 14,000 people yesterday. The number of cases continues to go up, 6,984. Total number of cases, 66,000 cases. Uh, and those numbers are daunting, to be sure. You see it's continuing, continuing to move across the state of New York. There's only one county now that does not have a COVID case. Anyone who says this situation is a New York City only situation, is in a state of denial. You see this virus move across the state. You see the virus move across this nation. Uh, there is no American who is immune to this virus. I don't care if you live in Kansas. I don't care if you live in Texas. Uh, there is no American that is immune. What is happening to New York is not an anomaly. There's nothing about it. a New Yorker's immune system that is any different than any other American's immune system. So in many ways, New York is just a canary in the coal mine. What you see us going through here, you will see happening all across this country. So. Part of what we're doing here is not only serving New Yorkers, but we believe that we're dealing with this pandemic at a level, intensity, and density that no one has seen before. And hopefully, uh, we'll learn lessons here that we can then share with people across this nation. In terms of the overall numbers, 66,000 have tested positive, 9,500 people are currently hospitalized, 2,000 ICU patients, 4,000 patients are discharged. Uh, that's an increase of 632. Uh, you don't often uh, focus on this line when we have these conversations, but people go into the hospital and people leave the hospital, and that's important to remember. Uh, we've dealt with some really deadly viruses before. We dealt with the Ebola virus. That's not what this is. Uh, most people will get sick. Most people will get sick and stay home and have some symptoms. That's 80%. About 20% will get sick, need hospitalization. They'll feel better, and they'll leave. Uh, it tends to be those people who are acutely ill, have an underlying illness, who have the most uh, most problems. Most impacted states, New York, you see, is at 66,000. New Jersey is next with 13. California is 6,000. So we have 10 times the problem that California is dealing with, 2,739 deaths in the state of New York, total of 148,000 cases. 2,739 deaths. And that's your latest official case count for the New York region there, of course, one of the hardest hit parts of the country.